Hi everyone, welcome. Hi to Dana and Sandra and Kenny and Cassandra and Emma and Abby, hello. Hi Selena, welcome and Anna, welcome. Emma, hello. Robin, hello. Ray, hello. Lulu, hi, we've missed you. Cheryl, hello. Welcome guys, how are you all? Shadow's here. Aren't you Shadow? Say hello. Camera, say hello. Say hello. You're being rude. There you go. <laughs> she's so funny. You shush. Now <laughs> she's bumping me. She's like, now you've said hello to me. Now I want to pat. How are you? How has your weekend been? Hi, Catherine. Hi, Libby. Welcome, guys. Oh, we've all missed you, Lulu. I hope you are well. Oh, you're so cute, Shadow. She really wants cuddles today. Did I miss anyone? <laughs> Nanny's even saying hello. You want her? Ah, oh, you can have her. No, not really. I couldn't do without my baby, could I? Could I, little girl? Couldn't do without her. <laughs> You're being a horror. How is everyone? How's their weekends been? Anyone got any news? Anything exciting happening? Hi, Eva. Hi, Josely. Hi, Gracelyn. Welcome. Sleepy one. <laughs> oh, yes, you nearly came off the thing then, you silly girl. She is funny and uh, she's a chatterbox, aren't you? Are you a chatterbox? I, she's like, let me kiss you, mummy. <laughs> Hi, Dawn. Catherine, hello. Oh, congratulations, a grandmother. Nice. <laughs> One like her. Well, she's a Bengal, and they're all fussy like this, so... <laughs> Don't you hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Veronica. Oh, you've got to work. Okay, well, that's okay. You went and saw your grandson. Oh, very nice, Cheryl. And congratulations to you too. How is your hand? Yes, Dawn, how is your hand? Oh dear, I hope it's healing well. Really, you're putting hair everywhere. It's all over my top. Today I wear black and I get it all over me. <laughs> Alright, have you had enough yet? Have you had enough yet? <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Rub my belly, I'm gone. <laughs> Alright. I think I've had enough. She, she, she sort of like, with me... She grabs me, but she won't sort of attack, attack. But with hubby, she she will go him as strong as she can. <laughs> All right. Hi, Pam. Welcome, guys. So it sounds like everybody's just been, you know, doing their weekend thing. That's good. Yes, I know. She just, I just touch her belly and that's it. She's gone. Gone. Gone and done. Now, um, Christine's going to try and drop in today and say hello. Um, this image is by Christine Karen. And I know it's not available on Etsy yet, uh, but it will be shortly because it's the end of May. And this was a May image for patrons. So if you want to get it now and you don't want to wait, it's only one US dollar to become a patron of, of Christine's. And uh, she does a free image each month and that image usually comes with the grayscale and the line art version so it's a pretty awesome price for what you actually get and it supports 
her um, and allows her to create more images. Yes? A dollar a month. Bargain. Sometimes, because she's awesome, she'll do special images and give us a couple of images free. So it depends on what's happening and if there's events on and things like that too. So uh, check it out. Now, her links are in there. Go down there, get rid of the chat and have a look under the description because that's where the links are. Hello, Helen, welcome. And, um, <laughs> hi guys, hi Kelly, welcome. I'm just seeing who I've missed here. Debbie, hello, welcome, 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 welcome. Anyone else I've missed, just shout at me. <laughs> As Emma says, it is a good deal. So is your Patreon, Belinda. Oh, thanks, Debbie. All right. Thank you, Abby. <laughs> All right. So that's where you get this from. So pretty. Now, this is kind of, I mean, it's not really a mermaid, but I think it's in relation to a mermaid. So why not? Let's do it. Let's do it. I've printed this one on Nina Classic Crest today. I've gone some Nina because I'm going to be using markers. <clears throat> and uh, we're going to get started. I don't want to, I want to try and try and get a lot of this done. So why not? Have you seen Christine's version of this? It's on Instagram. All her links are in the description too. I saw Helen. I've seen heaps of them. They're absolutely beautiful. Everyone's done an awesome job. I need to tell you my marker disaster later. Okay, I, Selena, that sounds scary. <laughs> she is magic with Copics. Oh, yes, I have to agree. And watercolor. Amazing. Hi Mona, welcome. Everyone's just catching up. Okay, well. I did some more of the Cinderella image that I'm doing with patrons on a weekend yesterday. It's going to take us forever, but this is what I've done so far. How awesome is that looking? There's all this picture to go. <laughs> We've done this. <laughs> but look, it's looking amazing. So um, we've been doing this with patrons on the weekend. Uh, and I'm going to be sending this one to the lovely Kenny once it's done. And um, I think we are, we are actually getting somewhere with this one, though. It is starting to make sense. <laughs> Hi, Christine. Welcome. We were just talking about your Patreon and what a bargain it is. <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. I know it is starting to look amazing. I can't wait um, to do more, but also to finish it. It's going to take me a while, I think. <laughs> I was saying maybe, maybe Kenny will get it for Christmas. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so um i'm actually coloring that live uh, for patrons so it's it's kind of an informal live stream that one we where me and the patrons get together and we just have a bit of a, a natter and uh, i color while we're nattering um the ones that i've been doing on a thursday for patrons have been a little bit more formal and we're trying to sort of learn something there um <laughs> trying to <laughs> I'm trying to teach something there they have me talking so much these guys um so yeah patreon's been a little bit of fun lately 
I'm actually quite enjoying those little live streams better than the recorded videos because I actually get to talk to you, see what you've been doing and uh, also see what you want to know. So it's been good. I just realized it's been cut off on the bottom there. I think it's because I forgot to reset my printer for letter size paper. So it's uh, printed it for the longer paper, the A4 size paper. A4 skinnier though, so that would have cut off your foot. Anyway. <laughs> um, so, shh. Christine's uh, original, oh, well, her original, her cop, her coloured copy is on Instagram. So I was just saying it's in the description below. So make sure you check that out as well. So what am I going to do? I have no idea. So I'm going to start with skin and uh, I'm going to do normal skin colour. Why not? We might put a little bit of blue in maybe. I'll see how we go. <laughs> Well, I'll, I'll see. It, it is Kenny. Hey, Loretta, welcome. You didn't miss it today. Oh, everybody's having internet problems lately. It's frustrating. Uh, I'm going to be using some E04 for my shadows first. This is the grayscale version. I always kind of feel like they are grayscale, but they're more like semi grayscale. They give you an idea of where things are going. They're not like overly full on and, uh, you know, a, com a complete photo of a completed image. They're like Christine goes along and puts in these lovely little gray areas just to sort of give you a hint of where things might go. And, um, yeah, it's, it's great. It's awesome. Awesome. Not like the, the, uh, the portraits book. The portraits book is actually, um, grayscale versions of her original artwork. So that's slightly different again. How cute is she though? Uh, somebody asked me to do the um, the seahorse one, but I sort of looked at it and it's got, it had a lot of detail and I thought, no, nah, let's do a portrait. It's close up. <laughs> it's close up and uh, and not as much detail so I should should say that because sometimes it doesn't happen I should be able to get it done <laughs> I love the way you do the eyes Christine mine come out good every time yes they do thank you Kenny So yes, Christine did do, she did like a blue and pink hair and she did green, uh, green, pink and blue skin. It looks really cool. Again, if you haven't seen it, go check out Instagram. It's on there. Along with the latest image, which is really beautiful as well, the lilies and pearls. I'm just going to go in and add in some car shadows. Oh, 
Oh look, there's ears behind here. I didn't miss it today. I might miss it later when I'm continuing to colour over this, but you know, I didn't miss it then. <laughs> So Christine, when you do the grey scale of these images, do you use just a grey lead pencil or do you use like grey coloured pencils? <laughs> Robin. Hi Yvonne, welcome. <laughs> Can you do lilies and pearls soon? <laughs> ah. I love the eyes. The eyes are always pretty. What what do they say? The eyes are the windows to the soul. I usually do the lines with light coloured pencil and grayscale with graphite pencil. Oh, very interesting. Very cool. And when you do your coloured images, do you go always pick the line art to do or do you go with the grayscale? I always found that interesting too. Where would you start? Grayscale. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of what we did with our little castle that we were doing with the um, with the Disney one that I've been doing. We we. I started putting in all of the the shadows first with a, a blue pencil just to mark them all in before going ahead and and filling in more color. Okay, so I think I've done a pretty good mix of shadows here. Looking good. Ah, Graceland, yes. They're all awesome, aren't they? You're a patron. Christine's patron is only a dollar US, that's right. I've done a bit of both, but I, I mainly have done grayscale. Got E11 and I'm just going to come over the top of that. It's actually nice coming back to Nina after having using the Strathmore for so long. Nina's just so soft and it's fantastic with markers and love it. As I've said, if I if I could get this more readily, I would use this more often.
<laughs> in fact every time on patreon when I'm doing new videos or new images I'll I, uh, I often will say, what does everyone want? And Christine is always, always on the list. Christine with markets. There's not many that appear every time, so that's a good thing. A good thing. It looks like there are a lot of patrons here, that's right. <laughs> Me ten. <laughs> Pam goes, me ten. Oh, Shadow's into something. I can hear her scratching around. We had some foam out uh, for the dust covers on my minis. And uh, Shadow was eating it yesterday. Gotta be careful with her. She's such a pain when it comes to things like that. Aren't you, madam? Speaking of her, here she comes. <laughs> here she comes. Belinda was my first. <laughs> Belinda was your first what? That sounds pretty uh, interesting. <laughs> I do, Christine. I do usually start with dark. I don't know why. Habit. Easy blending. Uh, easier for learners, maybe. <laughs> I'm trying to think why I do that. I don't know. Sometimes I'll start with lighter colors and move up to darker. It depends what kind of mood I'm in, but normally I think I, think I mainly do it for learners. So people who are just learning markers. I just find it easier for those darker colors to be blended out. Maybe? <laughs> you typed it that way on purpose. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Hi Kathy, welcome. Hi Rochelle, hi Patty. Patty. You girls must be sick of me already. You've seen me what three times Friday, Sunday, and today. <laughs> I'm sure I'm sick of me. <laughs> Getting a bit sick of my voice, you know. It wouldn't be so bad if I could have chat back. <laughs> I 
Hi Shara, welcome. You are very courageous with Copic, I admire that. I always chicken, so chicken. Start light and see where it goes. Eh. You know what, sometimes it doesn't work out, but eh. There's always pastel to cover it over. That's what I say. <laughs> There's always something to protect it or cover it if you stuff it up. <laughs> I love the images. I tried to do portrait sketches of characters with larger eyes and it always looks... I end up ditching it. Ah, oh, Loretta. They, they, it's like a, a whimsical look, isn't it? The big eyes. They're, it makes them just look amazing. I've got some E21. I reckon even though I start with darker though, I, I do believe that I end up always lightening it off too much. There usually ends up being less contrast than, than what I thought there would be when I start, you know. This filling in over the top with the E21. It's actually been a while since I've done a Copic portrait or a Copic anything actually. Um, No idea where I was trying to go with uh, Monia Gates image the other day. It just didn't go where I thought it was going to go. <laughs> and I ended up doing it in pencil to cover over what I'd done in Copic because I didn't like it. <clears throat> you know, that happens. <laughs> that happens. It is good. Instagram's awesome for that kind of thing. Um, I like going onto Pinterest too and looking through Pinterest and Deviant Art and just uh, admiring everybody's awesome and amazing artworks. Also picking up and finding new artists that might be uh, colouring book worthy. <laughs> I think that's how I ended up finding Jash Arts before it came out on, isn't that funny? Before <laughs> Colouring Heaven. Missed a little bit there between the hair. Just gonna add some of this in the water. Just a little bit there. You brought, oh my gosh, you did? That's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, which is the best Christine book to start with? Libby asks. I'm going to say the first fairies book because it's my favourite. <laughs> What's your favourite Christine Karen book? Come on, peoples. Let's hear it. That's a lot. <laughs> I, I I have, I don't even know how many I have, but I've got E and double zero. Shara, I couldn't do it. Not all in one go. I'm just kind of filling in most of the skin now. I'm going to leave a couple of highlight areas, but most of it. will be filled out now. I actually sat, I was such a good girl, you'll be so proud of me. I sat and refilled all my markers before stream today. <laughs> well, all my skin markers, I must say. So if I run out of the others, I didn't get time to do them. I did all the skin though. So that uh, I wouldn't need to refill them halfway through. Nina is way less thirsty than Strathmore so that's nice I have the Colouring Heaven edition of Christine's work that's my favourite book mm. it totally counts right of course it does Emma I don't have favourite book. Male images are some of my favourites still. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. I've got her on my wish list, but I buy my first. It would be characters. The character... Oh, that's the one I did. I think I did an Esmeralda from that one. Um... <laughs> I've got some, before I do my E triple zero, I'm going to put in some, some lovely rosy cheeks here. Um, Shadow, no, you can't have it. You can't have it. It's mummy's. <laughs> She's trying to get me. Um, I'm going to use some R20. Put some above her eye. Breels in the waterline. Give her a bit of colour. Not like committed to crazy wood. <laughs> Shower. What do I mean by less thirsty? Okay, so when I use um, the, I'm using E triple zero now. When I use Strathmore paper, it drinks more. The markers empty quicker. So it grabs the ink and pulls it right into the paper, which makes you use more ink. So the least thirsty marker paper that I've used is Express It Blending Card. It uh, kind of locks the color into the paper and um, I find it uses a lot less ink. But I like the way that the ink draws into Nina and because Nina is so good. <laughs> it draws into the Nina paper and it kind of bleeds out a little bit. It gives it a really nice soft color and it makes those blends smoother. But you use a little bit more ink than you do on Express It. 
and then the Strathmore mixed media paper that is extremely thirsty so the tooth isn't designed just solely for marker and it it uh, it kind of just soaks through fairly quickly so it seems to use a lot more ink um, and I find that I'm refilling my markers a lot more a lot more see I've got some dodgy lines through this already just going over those highlights see it's not as dark as what you think in fact I think it comes out lighter than than I would imagine <laughs> when I first start putting that colour down. I'm going to use a little bit of pan pastel and just highlight a little bit. I've got some uh, burnt sienna tint. And I'm going to use some white, titanium white as well. Because I'm a sucker for smooth for some reason. <laughs> uh, if I could find my white. plain sight selective blindness I think that's what my daughter called it if you don't have pan pastel try Jane Davenport has a um, birthday soup palette there's a whisper I think it is in that that works quite well for highlights too or use a paint pen they're good too what are you doing missy Meow. Just thought if a question be, what do you do with pictures you colour once they're done? I put them in a folder and they go away in my cupboard. Never see them again. <laughs> Hi Ash, welcome. Color it pictures. Oh, okay. I haven't do, haven't looked at them. You love all of them. I love all of them too. You know what though? I have to say that Chris Chen can color in anything with Prismacolors. I don't know what it is. She's just got that thing that she does. <laughs> who else finds that too <laughs> uh, I'm going to use a little bit of um, permanent red just a tiny bit oh that was too much let me just tap some off I'm just going to tap it on my little cheek areas <laughs> there just 
brighten them up a little bit. All right, you go away. You go away. Go away. We're busy. No, I'm not going to Oops. My drawers fell apart. I have these plastic drawers with all my supplies in them, and if I'm not careful, I always do that. Let's go to the eyes. Now she's looking kind of blotchy. Okay, lips and eyes. I'm going to say some blue today. Mm. A little bit of B06. Just touching there. Chris Chen is amazing and from another word. <laughs> Agree. What are we talking about? What's a little bit difficult, more difficult? Shadow, they love you. She's run away again. She disappeared. Bright blue. I was going to go to B04, but that still might be too dark. Do you think? Yeah, let's go with B02. <laughs> Patty. The, um, It's so funny because doing the way I colour with Copics is the same I would colour with with uh, pencils. To me, it's the same. Blue eyes, baby's got blue eyes. <laughs> Some C1. I'm just gonna actually might need more than that because it's pretty dark in there already. Let's go with C2. C2. See to it that you do the eyes. Adding a little bit of grey around the bottom of the eye and the edges there. And I'm gonna blend it out with the colourless blender. Just so that those edges are fuzzy. Just like that. So we can't see that direct line, I guess. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, 43. Uh, 43. In the very corners. And let's just add a tiny little bit. On the waterline there. And uh, colourless blender again because I went over the waterline. Just blur it out a little bit. Alright. Now I'm going to use my white pen because white or pencil. 
white pencil first and then white paint pen. Look at my tiny little prismal color. I'm going to use it because it's here and it's sharp. White pen. Hi, Emily. Welcome. It's free for Christine's patrons. The link's in the description. And uh, I think Kenny had it before too. It's Christine's um, image. It's free on her page. The little dots in there on the eye, maybe a few just along the waterline there. And I think how the black part of her eye, I think I need to go in with something there and just place it in. So maybe some Copic multi liner. Mandoria. Uh huh. Cool. I really like. There's a guy called Christopher Carey. If you're learning markers, I mean, come check out my Patreon as well. But um, he does some awesome work. The Copics, love it, and he's an awesome artist as well. He does a few different styles. I probably learnt the most I learnt from Copics from him. Brilliant artist. Alright, eyes look cool. I'm going to redo the eyelashes as well, uh, but I'm going to wait until I start the hair because it's going to come over the hair. Actually, I could just do that. Let's grab the bigger one though. Maybe a point three. That little one was a point zero three. <laughs> Christopher Carey, K E double -R, R Y, Christopher. Say hello. Say hello again. Say hello. Say hello. Meow. You're not going to talk now. Hey? You're not going to talk now. <laughs> it's so funny. I love eyelashes. So pretty. I want my hubby's eyelashes. He's got amazing eyelashes. Do you guys find that? I've got my son and my hubby. Their eyelashes are so long and beautiful. <laughs> Mm. 
<laughs> Hi, cat. Welcome. Hello to anybody that popped in and, and, uh, Kerry, K E double R Y. <laughs> Are you a patron, Shara? You were. Um, I did a post on him a little while ago. Right at the very start. He did a thing, he did a like a comparison, he did a price comparison between Copix and other brands of markers. And um, he brought up some very interesting points, which I thought were brilliant. But you know, they're only cheaper if you actually buy the refills. Like some I know don't they just buy a new marker when it runs out. <laughs> yeah, no, never heard of that, but that happens. It happens. Why do I feel like this is not smoothing well here? Let me just... That's a little better. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit. Lips. Lips, lips, lips. Hi, back. Okay, I have a super important question. As long as it's not about patriotism. <laughs> I've got R20. <laughs> oh, that was a posty. Beep, beep. <laughs> Cookies or ice cream? Mmm, cookies and ice cream? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Red, blue, white ice cream. <laughs> Abby. Hi, Tara! <laughs> <laughs> Cookie, <laughs> ice cream and cookies, definitely. <laughs> All right, what have we got? I want pink lips. I'm going to use some R24. Calories don't count. Is it still? Are you guys still in quarantine? I get a package, have I? What is it? I'm gonna get. I've got a package. Hubby just went out and checked the mail. I've got. Uh, uh, let's hope it's nothing like Friday's package. No sender. No sender. It's yours. What is it? Oh, it's a. Yeah. Mine already have his belt. It's out of his package. Oh, it's a knife belt. He brought a belt for his to hold his knife on his waist when he's hunting and rabbiting and things like that. Damn, not for me. <laughs> Rats. <laughs> I got a cuppa, by the way. Yeah. 
It's very politically driven. Okay, well, maybe we shouldn't talk about that then. What pants? Who's wearing <laughs> real pants? No, I'm wearing PJ pants. <laughs> That's terrible, Lulu. I um, was sitting at the lights one day and I watched a bike, bike fall going around the corner and he got clipped and hears me scream. Ah! Hubby's like looked at me like, what? He didn't see it. He was on the phone. Poor guy. But hit and run, that's no good. Just trying to be really gentle because the marker will bleed out a little bit and I don't want to go out into the skin. Now, most of my dark colour is on this side, so I'm going to do this side of the lips quite dark with a tiny little bit of a highlight here. Same on this side, and this side I'm going to do a lot lighter. I have my like I have my my iconic Superman top on and <laughs> and like I'm actually dressed but I have pajama pants on because <laughs> they're the most comfortable I have mm-hmm <laughs> Oh gosh, yeah, me too. I've got R22. Thought that was a cat then. Okay. And a tiny little bit of R20 again, just for those lighter areas. use gel pen this time. Boss says that I can only show up, I can show up to my video meeting in my pajamas, baby. <laughs> not appropriate for camera. <laughs> Definitely not for your boss. Um, Shara, we're not out of lockdown, but there's, the restrictions have been eased a bit. Um, we're allowed to have, we're allowed to go visit people now, but we're only allowed a certain amount of people. Um, and they're only like, like I was reading on the, uh, takeaway food shop sign that they're only allowed to eight people in the store at once. So, um. There's still restrictions, but we're not necessarily in quarantine, you know. Uh, Victoria, where I am here in Victoria, it's, a, it's the restrictions are a lot more than other states. Not that I want to go out still. Giving her some shiny lips. Just 
blending in that a little bit more. All right, cool. Let's just zoom out a bit. I still think she's a little pale. <laughs> she's still a little pale here. A little pale. She's a little pale. Anyway, let's move on. Um, let's do some hair. Some hair. Um, I don't know what color hair to do. Oh, excuse me. I hadn't thought of that far. I've thought of the skin and that was about it. We're going to have green and pink, of course, for the lilies. We could do some pink and blue hair, like Christine's. That's cool. You shush. Green, violet. Hi, Lisa. <laughs> Pastel violet. Red for the event. What event? What? Oh, don't tell me I've missed something. <laughs> Abby, <laughs> I've probably missed something, have I? <laughs> I've got a few saying violet. Oh, dear. Testing, Kenny. Testing, testing. One, two, three. <laughs> Does that have to have red hair? How can I not? See, I, I lose track of these events so much. I do. Alright. A red head. Okay, I get ya. Okay. Alright, now we can do red. I know that Emma but you know I just can't keep track <laughs> there's just too many <laughs> I have trouble keeping up with my own event <laughs> let alone everyone else's <laughs> oh dear me I don't think I can do red hair though. I'm not in the mood. I could possibly do violet. Let's do purple hair. It's not violet. Well, this is real violet. Like, violet, violet. You're turning violet, violet. V, V, violet, nine. V, O, nine. Look out, Mr. Dragonfly. We're coming for you.
chat went really fast. It keeps going really fast today because there's so many people here. Classic Wonka, all right. Violet, you're turning violet. Love Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. Willy Wonka. I like both of them, actually. Good morning, Starshine. Yes, says hello. I'm a Johnny Depp fan, so... He's been in it. I've most likely seen it. <laughs> flick, 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 flick. <laughs> there you go, Emma. Flick, flick. That's your notes. Just write that down. Just keep flicking, just keep flicking. Yes, I did, I, Selena. I have seen it. You know Johnny Depp from like 21 Jump Street days years and years and years and years ago that's where I got my crush Doing some shadows behind our leaves, using the very tip of the marker to do that, and really just touching the paper, like hardly even, hardly even touching. Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter and Star Trek. <laughs> Christine, thank you so much for coming. It's so lovely to have you and um, these, this beautiful image and all your beautiful images, I should say. <laughs> I missed you saying goodbye. I lost it. I lost you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> And The Hobbit. Oh yeah, The Hobbit's good. I like all of those things too. The Hobbit movies my kids, of my girls, have watched over and over and over again. They even learned the Elvish language or how to write it. <laughs> They'd watched them that many times. Yeah, she is. Hello, Alicia. <laughs> I 
They gave me... Did you give me... A, it was a birthday present or something with Elvish writing on it? I can't remember. <laughs> Miss Alicia. When you're flicking, don't have all the hairlines the same length. You need to vary, variate where they stop so it doesn't look too weird. <laughs> Alright, what did Dawn say? Oh, they met him. Cool. Can't speak it, but you learned how to read and write it. That's right. No speaking it. Not yet. Speaking it's a whole nother ball game. <laughs> Oh, there's a bit of hair down here. Let's just bring it all the way down then. Nice. And it goes in the water too. I don't know if you can see this, but look. But I'm going to put the colour... I'm not going to do flicks. I'm going to do lines in the direction the water's going like that Violet. Violet's good. Something on my page there. All right, look over this way. Here's the time. Oh gosh. Time flies when you're having fun. I don't want all these to be the same length, so I'm just going to stretch some of them out. Make some of them a little bit shorter. Thanks, Eva. Thanks, guys. So 
So, uh, Emily, I sent you a message <laughs> on Facebook about Nightbot. But, Nightbot? <laughs> I, I, I'm... I can see where I have to join him and everything, but I don't know how to change the settings and things like that. So I just, yeah. Message me. <laughs> Can you please? So what did you end up having, Emily? Did you eat something? Oh, not that I'm saying you did. <laughs> that's right, it wasn't for you. You asked me for someone else, that's right. <laughs> so I don't know if you, I told... Oh, you might not know. After last fr after friday's live stream and the little commotion we had about uh the lovely book that i received in the mail <laughs> emily went at the end of the stream i got a message pretty much instantly it was like five or ten minutes after the stream emily drew a picture <laughs> of me holding this said book <laughs> it's very cute emily <laughs> you mean your friends leaning towards ice cream <laughs> did you guys see it on my <laughs> I took it down but <laughs> it was on my Facebook profile for a little while <laughs> how cute is that that's me <laughs> holding this crazy coloring book well actually it's an activity book not a coloring book but <laughs> how cute is that I love it it's awesome actually Emily I was thinking we should just do a few tweaks to that and maybe I should make that a character I think it's very cute <laughs> just get rid of the activity book part and uh, put in coloring book maybe or something Okay, Dawn, no problems. Yes, Emily, yes, yes. Let's just change it up a bit. Put it maybe in a Australian flag. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, maybe Color with Faithful Girl on, on the, on the book or something. I don't know, but it's very cute. I love it. It's adorable. Very well done. I couldn't believe how quick you were, though. She sent it to me on Instagram, and I'm like, oh, my God, it's adorable. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, hang on a minute. <laughs> Did you just draw that? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, doesn't need it. <laughs> hey, Shelly. <laughs> yeah, now Emily thinks that I'm a closet patriot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Mm. 
I think I sent the first one ages ago when we were organizing the colorathon, and I ended up catching you through your Facebook page instead. You know what? I've got this silly thing on Instagram. It's driving me crazy. It keeps telling me I have a message, but there's no message there. It's really annoying. I can't get it to go away. You know how usually it tells you if there's a request to contact you on Instagram? Well, there's none of that. Nothing. Just keep saying you have a message. Well, where is this message? Yeah, well, I thought that, but usually it tells you if it's a new person. It says you've got a message request when you open the messages, but it's not even showing me anything there. Random. <laughs> I'm getting messages now. Actually, I'm going to need to run because I drank that cup of tea really quickly and it's just gone straight through me. There's so much purple in here. <laughs> I got three tabs, primary, general, and requested. I only have two. I've got primary and general. It's weird. I think I should color the picture. Oh, you think I should color the picture that Emily did? Yeah, cute. <laughs> I don't think I've actually done this colored hair before. Not like bright purple like this. This is interesting. It's going to look interesting. Miss Christine Shelley, she was here before. To deftus. Hi Patty, welcome. Okay, Lulu, thank you so much for coming. <laughs> All right, be right back, guys. Give me a sec. Let's see if I can find a, a, a break video here.
I'm back. You didn't know I was on. I'm on every Monday. Well, what is it there? Sunday? <laughs> the water sounds. That's from the mermaid thing. I still have to change it back, but it's fine. Let's go in with our next colour. I've got some V17. I'm going to come over the top and down a little bit further. Coming up again. I think this one needs refilling. I did say I refilled the skin ones, didn't I? Bruh. Oh, have I got one? I have. Eva made me want to pee. Sorry. <laughs> just refilling my marker um, and I just spilt it everywhere because it's messy and I'm messy. But it's done now. Try that again. Much better. Yeah, it was too light before as well. And it was squeaking. You heard it. Squeak, 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 squeak. That's much better. So guys, we've got one more week of uh, Isabella's image. Uh, next week we start Naleke Shoemaker's image. Gonna be fun. Oh, we're gonna have to do our eyebrows purple, aren't we? Or do we do them like black? Don't know. Get some hair flicking. some extra hair flicking on this side because we ran out so it wasn't really well flicked <laughs> well flicked <laughs> yeah we're gonna have to do them brown I think I can't do them purple they'll look weird something happened to you what happened to you Graceland <laughs> you didn't that sound didn't bother you too much did it <laughs> <laughs> what about some aubergine that's kind of a briny purple color let's do it that color
I always love Christine's eyebrows too. Kind of messy looking and that's what my eyebrows look like. Ah, <laughs> Graceland. <laughs> oh, good cat. I'm glad. Uh, I probably shouldn't randomly just laugh in the middle of a quiet spot then because that might scare you. <laughs> Sitting there relaxed. Yeah, she has my type of eyebrows for sure. Although, my daughter Faith, she sat and plucked mine the other day at the hairdresser's. They're actually like a purple brown. Oh, I'm still not happy with that. It's like, anyway. Let's move on, shall we, to some, <laughs> some V15. A little bit brighter. This one's called M Mallow. Okay. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Reminds me of a drink. They call me Mallow Yellow. Michelle Graceland I buy my I buy my <laughs> I buy my Copics from the art shop Bayswater here in Australia because they generally have what I want running out too. Let's move to V12 and finish her off. Let's move down into the hair on in the water here as well. And I'm just going to fill out that colour in here. I think I need a little bit of V17 in there as well. V17. Let's do, I wonder where the refills will come out. I have no idea, Shelley. That'd be cool to know though. Uh, it's for Christine's Patreon. So are you a patron of Christine, Patty? Because it's for Christine's Patreon. Yeah. 
it's a dollar US a month for Christine's and uh, you get a free image each month and you get to support Christine of course Do you have refills for all your Copics? No, I don't. But um, I've got refills for most of the ones that I use. So what I've done is I've now when I buy a Copic colour, I'll actually buy the refill at the same time. Um, but I'm still concentrating on getting all the refills for what I have. So um, the ones that I use quite often, I have refills for. And then when I run out of one, I order it. So I'll order a couple at a time usually. And, um, yeah, let's use the blues that we used in the eyes in the water. Starting with B6 first. And I want to come over the dark spots. I'm coming over the purple as well. Let's go in underneath the lily pads. Went over the edge of that. Do -do -do -do. KB just sent you a massive Nightbot email. Let me know if you have any questions. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and lovely, thank you. Oh, no worries, Shelly. Thank you for dropping in. 44 Copic Chow. Oh, I can hear Nani looking there. Um, I might be able to do a colour list maybe for patrons. Um, for this one. I'll see how I go. Uh, B04. over those blue if I do a chart um, that will give you an idea of the colors but I think I've done plenty of skin ones if I don't end up doing it I forgot to ask Alicia to do me a chart are you here Alicia are you doing a chart <laughs> she might already be doing one for me which is very helpful already doing it <laughs> yeah refills are harder to get well not that I found them hard yet yeah she's already doing one <laughs> she's collecting all the colors for us so that we can do a chart we have a system pretty good team 
doing some V02. It's running out and I need it. No, Robin, it's not you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that thrown on them either, but I've only tried them on some papers. I haven't tried them on Strathmore paper and I think that might make a difference. I find that a lot of pencils that aren't all that great on normal paper are actually quite good on Strathmore paper so every time I've used them I've struggled with them looking oily or something I don't know it's very strange but I've never I haven't been happy with an image the only one I did was a Christine Karen one actually <laughs> of course <laughs> Oh, you have? That's a good idea. Definitely a good idea. Because <laughs> I just mark them with the washi tape so I know if I've got refills or not. Especially when I'm live and I'm colouring, I'm like, I don't want to pick something up that's nearly empty and know that I've got a lot of colour to, ooh, a lot of spot that I'm going to use it. Then I won't use it, I'll choose something else. <laughs> Otherwise... I won't have a refill for it if it does run out. Yeah, I've actually got a couple that I need to get some refills for. I've run out of a few lately. You would think that they would bring out the refills sooner than waiting for them all stock to go. That seems a bit silly though, doesn't it? You think that they would just, just transition to ordering them, people getting them with their order rather than the others, but... Oh well. Ah, oh, so the I put the marker, if I don't have a refill for it, like this one, I don't put a, a bit of washi tape around it. I put washi tape around the ones that have got refills so that I know I can refill them. I don't need a refill. But if I come across one that I run out of, say I ran out of B4, I can put it on my list once I do run out because I don't have a refill for it. So as you can see, the ones that I've tried to use have got refills. <laughs> it just makes it easier for me. Hi, Sarah. But 
But I know that people will do it for like when they go and colour with friends and stuff, they'll mark them with washi tape so they can see which ones are there as well. They're um, colouring, you know, which is a great idea too. Just got a white paint pen. And I'm going to put in some little highlights and a white pencil. Where are you? Where are you, white pencil? You're tiny. Oh, Nani. What is she crying about, Alicia? He's sucking away out there. Don't do this unless you're going to clean your marker off properly either. I'm going to use some B12. And I'm going to go in. To there. I'm just going to wipe my marker off here on my piece of paper so I don't get rid of all that pencil off my nib. <laughs> Let's do a couple more spots of white. Alright, yeah. Let's do some green. <laughs> no, no, that's what the band is. I've just done them. I've found some um, Express It uh, have this metallic washi tape. And uh, it comes in, like, there's like a purple, there's blue, there's a uh, red, <laughs> there's like a brown colour or a bronzy colour, which I do for E. There's like a colour for every, every colour, which I really like. Nope, not wrong one. I was just using normal washi tape. There's an orange, there's a blue-green, blue-green colour. And there's a green. <laughs> there's also a yellow greeny colour, I think. Yep, yellow green. I'll show you. Hang on. Thanks, Helen. There's also a silver for greys. That's what it looks like. It's cool. It's just metallic tape. And I looked, I saw it and I went, oh, that's cool. I could just mark all them all with different colours. <laughs> Very cool. Using a little bit of E12 in the water there. 
just to blend that out a little bit more, make it look kind of blurred underneath the water. Um, now what? Start doing some of these. I'm going to do yellow green in the flowers because we've got purple hair, so we'll add more yellow green. A little bit of uh, G30. Why G13? Going over the top of those leaves. I think I've done lily pads before. I think I did the lily fairy. <clears throat> Hey, we've done more bulrushes. <laughs> Haven't seen them in years and then all of a sudden they're on two images that I do. That's just kind of weird. <laughs> What's the time? I am nearly up time up on I am I'm a bit slow today. No <laughs> Better to take my time and enjoy the image than rush it. And I'm just kind of sporadically putting this around those leaves going to add a little bit lighter and I'm going to add a little bit of darker green in there so and I've added it in the in the what is this border as well <laughs> frame Lily pads. I'm just dabbing, <clears throat> losing my voice, just dabbing it in there, scribbling. <laughs> I like to scribble. Cat of nine tails here in the US. <laughs> you do, Ray. <laughs> oh no, what happened? <laughs> You're on top chat. I'm on live chat. I just thought I'd double check that. I'm definitely on live chat. <laughs> All right, let's try a little bit of, uh, what have I got here? 
wait, I want something darker. Let's go with some YG6. See if that, no, that's not dark enough. Okay, let's go with YG17. Just want something slightly darker for the stems and the little creases in the middle of the each of the leaves here. Yeah, that's pretty good. You might come in with a pencil maybe and just add a little bit more detail in there if it doesn't stand out enough. Cute little earrings, little pieces of ivy stuff for earrings. <laughs> Why not? a little bit of this into these darker areas. Giving us some shadows. I'm not talking to you, Shadow. You just stay where you are. I'm just coming over those grey areas that Christine already did, just darkening those parts up. And then I probably should head off because it's getting late. Two hours. Jeepers, that's just flown. Two hours flies nowadays. I have to go pay bills. I prefer to colour with you guys. Do I have to go? <laughs> I'm just catching up on chat there, seeing what everyone's talking about. a bit of purple there bye Eva thank you 
I think I'm going to play with the skin a little bit more. I'm not happy with it at this stage, but it's going well. Let's go light up. YG21. My dog. Roof, 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 roof. Shouldn't shut up. <laughs> roof, 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 roof. Poor neighbors. <laughs> Poor neighbors. This one's running out too. Bummer. Well, I might have to uh, come back to that. <laughs> when I refill my marker but I want to just do some of these flowers before we go I'm gonna I'm gonna add a little bit of depth in there so I don't know I'm just not happy with how it's looking at this stage I'm going to add a little bit of, what have I got here? It kind of just looked patchy to me and I don't want it to look patchy. Maybe I could have done a second layer of Copic, but I've already put pastel in there now, so. I know <laughs> that's probably what I'm gonna change <laughs> just adding just evening it up a little bit I think um, I, I just found it was a little bit uneven I don't know. I'm just fussy. I've, I've said that before. <laughs> it may not seem like much, but Something like that. It was kind of patchy looking or something and I've just added 
enough to get rid of some of that patchiness. <laughs> Smooth it out a little bit. She needed bronzer. <laughs> ah, she did. She needed something, that's for sure. I don't know. What do you guys think? Did she need that? I felt she needed it. Still hanging out. <laughs> I think it did better. I think it worked. I think it gave me that little bit of extra colour I was looking for. You tell me. I think it just brought it to life a little bit more. I just used a little bit of burnt sienna and burnt sienna tint just to blend it out a little bit. And I think if I had have been smart enough and done another layer of uh, marker before I played around with the pastels, then I would have probably been able to do that with the pastels, but with the markers. But you know, I just jumped into it like I do. <laughs> like I do. Yeah, you can't see it on the screen, the patchiness, but it's gone now anyway. It's completely covered over. But yeah, I like that better. See, I just needed something. Smoothing out the residue. All right. Got a little bit of YR twenty three. of RV04 what's the time Ugh. might be too bright I think that's a little bright I don't want quite that bright that's a really bright colour skin is a lot smoother now but um, I think this is too bright let's have a look what else have I got let's go like no V in it Let's go in R colour. R85. Ah, uh, thank you guys. Thanks, Kenny. Thank you, my lovely. We go I'm running away in a sec. I'm just gonna show yeah, that's better, much better. Just 
just get rid of what I laid down there. I wanted more of a grey pink, did I? Dusky pink? Maybe. <laughs> well, I, I changed my mind. I didn't do RV04. Changed my mind. Decided that R85 and R83 is the next one. I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. And I think the sky. I don't know. I quite like the darker sky that uh, Christine put in hers. I may do it like dark purple, uh, like a blue violet with some blue. This uh, R83, 85, 83. And 81 are actually some of my favorite pinks. And I use these in brown hair a lot too. Make them a little bit warmer. Every time I go to put it away, I see one that I've missed. <laughs> you always brought a kettle today. Now I think I need to keep using the microwave on principle. <laughs> Ew, don't use a microwave. It's bad for you. I vote kettle. That was R81. And then I'm going to use the colorless blender and just blend off those edges. Ah, where is he? Uh, just coming around the edges. It just smooths them out, makes them look soft, fuzzy, fluffy, fluffy color. <laughs> See, I don't like this, it's too, too, too dark. <laughs> those are the bits I use the darker color with <laughs> alright guys I'm going to finish up I was hoping to finish it all but um, we got pretty close there's only a few little bits and pieces now that I'll put together but um, I thank everybody for coming today it has been lovely having you all and uh, I will see you all on Friday and we'll finish off Isabella's image and yeah i think that's everything i need to say don't forget to check out christine's patreon and all of the links for her are in the description there as well 
to get this page for May 2020 you do need to be a patron however she will make it available on Etsy after that so you should be able to purchase it after that uh, on Etsy but her patreon it's only a dollar US a month so why not jump in and support her why not <laughs> thank you so very much everyone for coming thank you and see you next time bye bye